Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we're going to see how to merge two rows in Excel. Merging rows or cells is used commonly when formatting tables. When I have a value that is repeated across multiple rows, it uh, sometimes looks much nicer if I can merge all those rows together so that there's only a single value and also it's able, it makes it easier to relate the uh, value to the rest of the data. So in this example, where I have uh, multiple rows, where the names are on multiple rows, and the sport is only on a single row because it relates to these two names, uh, I would like to merge these rows so that it's clearer that the sport badminton relates to these two names. So there are two ways of doing this. Uh, when you're merging rows, the data only in the top leftmost cell is retained. So in this case, I don't have any uh, data on the second row. So that doesn't really matter. So let's see how to merge this. I'd select uh, both the cells. These are the rows I want to merge. And then on the home menu, go to the merge option and select merge and center. So here I can see that the rows have been merged. Now in the second situation, I have two names and these names have to be retained. So uh, when I merge this, the second name is going to get lost. So let's see what to do. I will open the clipboard and then select the names and press Control C. So that copies the names to the clipboard. Now since the data on the topmost cell is going to be retained, I'll select the topmost cell and then say F2. Uh, delete the name that is there and then paste the names from the clipboard. Now you can see that both the names are there and I'll press enter. Now I can proceed to merge so I'll select both the cells and use the same option that I did previously. Now of course Excel warns me that, uh, that the value is going to be discarded. I'll say okay because I've already done something about it. And now the rows are merged. So these are two ways in which to merge rows in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.